here in the Kodak booth at CES 2015 here to show off their woo. Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here at CES 2015 at the Kodak booth here to show off their new smartphone, the IM5. With this smartphone, they are actually gearing it towards a different segment in the smartphone market. So let's go ahead and get a quick hands-on of it and look at the specs. All right, so here's a look at the IM5 by Kodak. Um, it is actually manufactured by Bullet who does make more rugged cell phones. Uh, I want to go ahead and talk about the design real quick. So on the back here, you'll see branded Kodak. You have a 13 megapixel camera with an LED flash. You have a speaker on the back. We did ask what this bar was for, and it's actually to let it sit up so the speaker does not get muffled against any uh, any table or anything that you set down. So that's pretty interesting. Um, looks like you do have uh, dual SIM card slots. I'm not exactly sure about that one. Um, on the right here, you do have volume controls. It's interesting they didn't include a camera button in the design. That's one thing that I wish that they would have. On the top here, you'll see you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and power button. Bottom, micro USB 2.0. So let's go ahead and turn this device on. On the front, you'll see you have a 5 megapixel, 5 megapixel camera and an, an LED flash on the front, which I will show off in just a second. That's actually really cool. So here's the lock screen. It does show your latest photo that you took. Very interesting. You can quickly go into the gallery right here. So you'll see uh, you have your entire gallery that you quickly got to, um, which I do want to talk about the, I guess, the consumer they're focusing towards. One of the main ones would be, they, the, as I, I quote, a mature smartphone user, um, you'll see there's very big icons. Um, it's a very simplistic form of Android. It does run Android. As you can see, you pull down, you do have your quick widgets. It's on 4.4 at the moment. They did say Lollipop will come later this year. So you'll see the settings menu is very similar to Android. However, you have this home launcher where on the front, you cannot customize it. Pressing and holding it doesn't do anything. You can't rearrange, but you have this app drawer icon right here. Brings you to a list of apps, all of them. It does have the Play Store, so you don't have to worry. You have complete access to the Google Play Store if you want SwiftKey or any of those apps. Um, they do as well, this is not loaded yet, but they will make their own app store which will show off the most popular apps. So it's very simple to get to more popular apps as opposed to looking through the entire Google Play Store. Now I did say mature smartphone user, so you'll see the bigger icons. It does have a magnifier here, which does use the camera. You can zoom in on things uh, just like a magnifying glass would. You can turn on the light as well. There's a quick LED button, it turns on the LED on the back of the camera as you can see text. Um, it's very simple. I mean, it does bring you to the stock messaging application. So uh, if you ever run Android, it's not very difficult to learn uh, sending text messages and such. Go to phone, of course, uh, using the dialer. Very simple. And, and you'll see it's very similar to stock Android. It doesn't look like they tried to theme the specific apps very much. Just more so the launcher, making it easier to access things. If you want to go to a calendar, it does use the Google Calendar. So a lot of the stock Google apps. But now, the main thing I want, uh, I'm sure you guys want to wait and talk about is a camera 13 megapixel camera of course with it branded Kodak a lot of you might think that it's gonna be have some amazing camera on the back maybe some detachable lens or something but it doesn't actually that's not their uh, I guess their mo right now for the camera they might in the future think about doing that however their goal is to just have a easy point and shoot camera that just works you see, I took a quick picture. I can either discard it or keep it. I kept it. So now, like I said earlier, my background should change to that last picture, and it did. So swipe it on open again. should take me back to the camera. Um, and like I said, it's very simplistic. Trust me. You can swipe up, get to your gallery. You'll see it's all right there, all your photos, which is something, um, I guess, like I said, mature smartphone user, they want to show off the pictures that they take in, the very simple pictures, I might add. Um, and 13 megapixels by no means a bad camera. I mean, I've taken some pictures on this and reviewed them, and it does pretty good in low light situations as well. However, it does have a flash. You can turn that on. Um, you can also video record in 1080p, 30 frames per second. Oops, sorry about that, guys. And also, while you're in this gallery, something that's very simple to do, if you go to a picture that you took, you can trash it, you can print it. That's another thing that uh, they're focusing on is a quick print. Uh, if you want to have a hard copy, of a picture as opposed to a digital copy editing and sharing if you want to share real quick it'll bring up a list of options this is pre-production so don't worry they should optimize this uh, this a little bit more 
uh, on time of release. And then you have a quick edit button right here. I haven't tried this actually yet. I will see what happens. Photo editor. So you do have effects, frames, stickers, overlays. So you can edit it if you're someone that does like to change all this stuff. Wow, there's a lot of uh, various things that you could do. So good that they included this for those, I mean, some people might not want to do this stuff. However, there is an option to if you'd like to. So you can change all these certain effects, different colors, swipe up and down to adjust the intensity. So if I go like this, wow, that's pretty cool. I really like that actually. So that would be just uh, editing and printing as well through the gallery app. And now I do want to flip it to the front facing camera and show off uh, the LED flash. There's me and Jason right there. So now I'm going to take a quick selfie and you'll see it had an LED flash. That's really cool to have on a front facing camera especially if you're someone that takes a lot of pictures. I'm going to discard that so no one can see our mugs. But anyways, like I said, that's it for settings. Nothing. You can't change uh, resolution. Um, I think you might be able to zoom in. Uh, it doesn't look like it, actually. If I press the volume key, it doesn't do anything. I don't know if they're going to add zoom functionality or not, but like I said, very simplistic. Discard, keep. There you go. Keep. Let's go ahead and take another one. Very simple. On the bottom, you do have a menu, home, back button. Press and hold the home button. Multitasking. That does feel fairly quickly this actually has an octa-core processor which um, they are actually gearing it towards European markets first uh, at the end of the first quarter and then it will come to the US later this year um, keep that in mind because it might not include an octa-core processor when it does come to the US uh, but yeah other than that this is a quick look at the Kodak uh, IM5 let me know what you think be sure to leave a comment happy to hear from you guys lots more CES coverage um, be sure to check out Fly Group as well. I'll link to that in the description. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.